So today we're gonna be playing Formula Power or FPR Formula Race in Roblox 2023 because it's the first F1 game to have the new 2023 cars and I mean the latest livery was literally released yesterday the Alpine was released yesterday at the time of recording and I'm pretty sure they released this update like today in the morning or yesterday last night probably because the Alpine was the same but this game also has them the SRI Porpoise and Formula Race in 23 also has the car because they have a partnership I believe and they basically use the same cars so if you want to try out the cars you can either try them in SRA or in Formula Power I'm gonna leave a link to them both in the description but I'm gonna be driving in Formula Power first okay we're gonna be checking out the tracks and Spa as you can see or Rouge over there in the bus stop chicane but before we check out the cars I want to know what's your favorite livery so far for this season in my opinion I think I like the Ferrari even though it didn't change that much or the mercedes i i'm not a mercedes fan but i must say that mercedes looks awesome and i hope mercedes have a good season because i want an intense championship fight but as you can see on the left of the screen there's two buttons now there's spawn 2022 and spawn 2023 and we're gonna be looking at all the cars okay first car is the beta julieta which is the alfa romeo basically and this one didn't have that much of a change well it did the white became black oh my god my car bugged out okay we spawned it again this time it did not bug out okay why is my car going over there am i lagging i'm not lagging but it seems like this car likes being next to a pole and somehow the wheels are turning but as you can see not that much difference with this car the white became black they had a new sponsor but i don't think they have the sponsor on the car yeah they don't have the stake sponsor on the car and the car just left okay what is this part of their upgrade system that i don't know of or something why is the oh it's gone okay well the car just disappeared and lewis hamilton is here oh he's spawning the car is his car gonna work nope his car is also leaving goodbye goodbye okay let's spawn the next car next up we have fast sorry i hope it's fast this season there you go this is the, is this gonna okay no the f fast sorry doesn't bug out this is the ferrari they haven't followed the same like because there's a little black part here that they have on the ferrari for the seven logistics sponsor they haven't done that here so i'm either thinking they forgot to do it or they didn't do it on purpose because they were lazy or they didn't do it because they thought it looked bad because i saw a lot of fans saying it looks bad but i honestly liked a little bit of carbon fiber on the side let me know what you think though they haven't done the little thingy do you think they should have delivery the same as real life or do you think they should keep it this way also um, something else to note the car models are the same as the 2022 cars but i mean there isn't that big of a difference anyway so i don't think they should really change them i know project apex have a slightly different model especially in terms of the slide pod and ion formula racing might be making a new model as well so keep an eye on, out for that that's why the ifr update might take a bit of time to get done but i think the project apex car model is already finished next up we have the haha -ha, which is the has and this is also one of my i mean when i first saw it i thought it was ugly but it's kind of growing on me i don't think it looks bad i think it looks decent but i wouldn't say it's my favorite i like every livery that has black and red if i'm being honest and this one with the little white that kind of makes it look good although i don't like the money gram logo in real life and so on but this livery is decent um if there are any has fans let me know in the comments below i don't think has have that many fans they might be the team with the least fans or maybe it's aston martin but they have fernando alonso next up we have l racing which is williams racing they're probably going to be taking l this season well they've already taken an l with this livery I guess the L stands for L livery. Um, that doesn't make sense. But yeah, this is basically the same livery. They only added the Duracell thingy here. A little bit more black on the side, I guess. But not that much difference, I think. Yeah, also the Golf sponsor as well here. That's basically it for the Williams. Next up, we have the McLaren. The McLaren, surprisingly, in this game had... Oh, oh well, it does have weird tires. But it surprisingly has a bit more difference from the 2020 
42 car in the game. I know in real life they haven't had that much difference, but like if we look at this and if we spawn the 22 McLaren, where is it? You can see it's somewhat different. There's a little bit more black here. There's a black here. The blue is kind of different from the different logo and so on. So they've done a couple of changes to the McLaren, maybe more than they needed to. But it does look nice. I'm a McLaren fan. I'm going to be cheering for McLaren, but I think they might do bad this season. I have high hope. I actually don't have high hopes for McLaren. Uh, anyways, moving on. We have a Red Bull, which is the Red Bull. And I mean, for some reason, they have a red, red wing. No, a red rear wing and a red front wing. But I mean, um, yeah, that's the Red Bull. No difference. Next up, we have the Sigma Tower or the Alpha Tower. I guess this is... Oh my... Wh huh? Wh uh, what? What just happened to my car? Okay, well, I guess um, this is what happens when the car is not an Alpha. It's a Sigma. Let's try to spawn it again. Hopefully, please don't bug out. Please, 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 please. I said please. Yes. See, when you say please, like stuff just comes to you. Anyways, uh, the main things I notice is the Orland sponsor here and the red part on the front wing, or I mean the halo and the red part on the mirrors and red part on the rear wing. So a lot of red because of the Orland sponsor. And I notice they don't have the Orland part, like red part on the floor here. So I guess they decided to not to modify it and uh, i i think the alpha tower also looks nice not that big of a difference only a bunch of red i don't think the red parts make it look better if i'm being honest but it's not bad it's it's a decent car and i'm definitely gonna be cheering for them this season i hope they do good oh i spawned this again um let's see next up the aston martin um i'm pretty sure this is a copy paste from last the from the 2022 car so we're gonna go up next we have the mercedes oh Oh my goodness, they've done a great job with this car. As you can see, number 63 here. They don't have the colors on the winglets or whatever it's called. And I must say, this car is beautiful. I love it. I mean, <laughs> I'm a Mercedes hater, you know, but like, I'm so happy that their car lo looks good again. Like, because I like the black livery more. I mean, I started watching F1 in 2020. So I started watching F1 when they started having a black livery and it just grew on me and now I'm used to it. And I like it way more than the silver. I notice they don't have any arrows here. I notice also that instead of monster energy, it's a sulfur. Okay. Um, anyways, next up, what color do we have left? Is it the Alpine? Yes, it's the Alpine, which is painfully no difference at all. You can see a little bit more black here, probably because of the weight of the paint. And yeah, that's all the cars. And I think I'm going to be driving this beautiful Mercedes, even though I don't really like Mercedes. I don't know how many times I said that. But I might support Mercedes this season if I'm being honest. I don't know. I want them to do good. Oh my god. The acceleration on this car is so weird. And it's so insane. I'm, I'm driving in third person so you guys can see the car. Oh my god. I forgot about the jump after all rules. What the heck? Okay. Well, we're going 350 kilometers per hour. That's not that quick. And we did the corner cut. I'm driving on keyboard, by the way, if you're wondering. I mean, I don't think it's worth plugging in my controller and try... What? Am I <gasps> am I suck? No, wait. I can get no no how am I suck? Oh my god. This looks like when Max Verstappen was on top of Hamilton. His car was kind of like this. Like it did this jump sideways and then it stops on Lewis Hamilton's Mercedes. But um this is vice versa. Is that oh my god, wait, this is Lewis Hamilton. What does he think of what just happened? Is he laughing as we come back here? What is he saying? You suck? Oh, was he gonna crash into my car? Okay, let's spawn it again. And this time let's avoid getting my car stuck somehow i noticed the gear ratios are kind of weird like one gear you have super acceleration the next it's medium acceleration and the car performance i don't think is that much different from last year's car i think i should do a hot lap with my controller to see the difference okay i plugged in my controller i'm gonna be trying to set a hot lap and i'm gonna be comparing it to the hot lap i set in my previous video on this game and seeing if i can do any better i think i remember this track this is spa after all i can't wait until more games add spa because i believe project apex have leaked it so many times but it hasn't been at what the heck just happened did i just get a cut slow down anyways project apex have leaked the spa circuit so many times and it still hasn't come out i honestly can't wait for it i don't know which track are you more excited for in project apex silverstone or spa both of them are super popular and a lot of people love driving on them i feel like people would like silverstone more i don't know let me know 
in the comments below and i go wide okay thankfully no corner cut no cuts here this car is super grippy dude and i go wide no corner cuts as well what the heck are there did they forget to add cc's there okay well let's go through here super quick this car is super grippy i don't remember the 2022 car has been this grippy i mean how would they determine the stats of the 2023 cars if they haven't seen them on track yet that's probably why project apex and uh, ifr might not add the cars until the first race because they kind of need to see the performance of each car and where they line up and there we go we're through the final corner and we're gonna cross the line it's a 123.2 considering i lost like a second getting stuck here i could have probably set a 122 and let me check my previous time here oh my god i actually set a 117.5 in my previous video on this game well it seems that i'm just slower i don't think the car performance is any different so if you just want to drive the new liveries you don't really expect the realistic car performance and so on you can check out this game i mean the cars don't look realistic they're kind of blocky but they're still fun to drive they're nice to look at so i'm gonna leave a link to both the games that have the cars so far in the description so smash that like button if you enjoyed this video and also subscribe to the channel because as soon as project apex or ion formula racing say anything about the 2023 update i'm gonna be posting about it on my channel so if you don't want to miss out subscribe and turn on notifications and if you want to watch my previous video on this game where i reviewed it and reviewed the tracks and so on click the video that pops up on the screen right now and i see you guys next time goodbye